Let me give you a tiny tip. Okay. If you really want to serve women, Daniel, the last thing you ever want to do is listen to them. The last thing you ever want to do is listen to them. It's almost like listen to what women say they want and just do the right thing or do the opposite. Sometimes it seems that's the way to go. <laughs> I want a man who's sensitive. No, you don't. I want a man who's emotionally available. No, you don't. That's what God gave you girlfriends for. God gave you girlfriends. God gave you other women. So you can snipe and bitch and fight with them. <laughs> Be their <laughs> emotional support structure or whatever the hell happens. Mm. But um, don't listen. And it's not just women. I mean, what men say too. I don't, don't listen. And for God's sakes, do not listen to anyone tell you what being a man is. Even me. Mm. But you right. know that masculinity is strength and power, compassion, kindness. And that we have, but we have mistaken the entire world for our families, the entire world for our own tribes. And now we have no boundaries, no borders. Women say, we want equality. No, you don't. You've been lied to about that because what you are at, what is actually being delivered is superiority is is the tyranny of tits because they say, oh we want equality really why aren't you working in the sewers why aren't you fixing the pylons that come down when there's an ice storm why aren't you lumberjacks no i want equality 70 percent women in a lot of university programs these days, nobody's sitting there saying, well, that's too much. Got to pull that back. We're going to need some outreach for men now. It's gone too far. Nah. I like that. I, I especially like when you said strength there as a quality of man. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, it, it's been redefined these days, like strength to, strength to conform, you know, or strength to to withstand whatever happens to you. But I mean, people forget that strength means the ability to do what needs to be done when the time comes, whatever that may be. And don't listen to women about what's needed in the world. <laughs> For God's sakes, did women suggest sewers? Did women suggest electrical grids? No. <laughs> Listen to women about, do you know, here's a, here's a piece of genius, a tiny little, there's nothing to do with me. It's a little tiny slice okay. of genius. Do you know how brilliant the migrants are who've come to Germany from the Middle East and from Africa? Do you know their nickname for Angela mm. Merkel? Oh, what's that? It's Mama Merkel. Mama Merkel. Mama Merkel. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. Go on. So she's, so they play off like her, her motherly role, right? And take advantage, just take advantage of the system, just totally abuse and, and slaughter. But it's, it's okay because they got, they got mama to protect them. Yeah. She has no kids. Yeah. Doesn't mean she has no paternal instinct. Mama Merkel. Mama Merkel. Women guess, say, mm -hmm. we want diversity. No, you don't. No, you don't. Certainly feminists don't. Because it is unusual for women to be pro-free market. Just look at the studies about, even, in eco even among economists, women are much more central planners than free market. And so if you want diversity, you want the groups with the least representation or the least numerical grouping to get the most airing. Now, fewer women are for the free market and fewer women are, quote, right wing or conservative. And so if feminists like the diversity, then they would be doing a big outreach 
to free market women, to conservative women, to right-wing women, to make sure that they had their voices. And they don't. Women are front and center trying to shut down that speech. So women say they want diversity, but they don't. They say they want equality, but they don't. Do you remember um, Emma Watson, the he for she, the oh, little yes. trembling, fragile flower of a woman mm -hmm. in the white dress talking to the UN? And she says, I want men to be sensitive. I want men to be in touch with their feminine side. I want men to be emotionally available. I want men who can cry. And she's dating a rugby captain. <laughs> yeah. Don't listen. Yeah. Do mm -hmm. not listen. It's a test. Big old, big That's old how test. you get friend zoned. <laughs> I want a sensitive man. Okay, I'll cry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she's going to go date the, the rugby captain who's not crying unless he's had a limb torn off and he's currently being beaten on the head with it <laughs> and also like women are new to this whole thing I mean I did a show recently on women know crap all about politics I mean most women mm. right. so they're kind of new to this you know no, right. I had the vote for less than 100 years in many places and less than that in some places. Kind of new. They, they've not gone through this whole cycle of civilization thing yet. Mm. Now, I'm not saying men individually have, but we have a kind of collective wisdom about this. Right. We have right. been conditioned by that. Quick the question. <laughs> Are the flourishing, successful, expanding societies those that either A, listen to women and do exactly what they say, or B, don't? Don't. Right. Middle Eastern religions versus the West. Right. <sighs> so my concern is that you are, I think, like I was, and I think like a lot of the male callers in, that you are just used to serving women. Yeah. I mean, I've I've been trying to climb out of that hole for a long time. And every time I think I'm out, I just, I, I see another peak I have to cross. Yeah. This is the great, like, if our civilization is to survive, we have to stop listening to women. And it mm. doesn't mean stop listening to women about everything, but we have to we have to stop listening to women and start looking at what they do. I'm sorry, the Fifty Shades of Grey phenomenon is indisputable. I want A, a sensitive man, or B, a guy with a helicopter who beats me half to death. <laughs> look at what women do. I'm an empiricist. This is nothing sexist. Look at what men do. Right. Look at what women do. And look at what they actually like. Look at how women treat a conservative speaker versus a Muslim speaker. Look at how women behave when Milo comes to speak or Ben Shapiro or Stephen Crowder or you name it. Versus look at Angela May on Visit a Mosque covering her head up in deference to Sharia law. I'm just telling you, empirically, what women say they want is not matching up with their actions. I hear you. And if anybody, I mean, tell me where I'm wrong. This is just, I mean, maybe I'll change tomorrow. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking <laughs> right now. <laughs> that there's this big thing where women are going to make a lot of fuss, a lot of noise. <laughs> I remember... Uh, Dating a woman once who was like, I want a sensitive man. I want a sensitive man. And she had a poster of David Beckham on her wall. <laughs> <laughs> Is that on the sensitive wall or not so much? Maybe that's just because he's a soccer player, you know. 
easy to injure. But he's not a sensitive soccer player, that's my point. <laughs> he's a ferocious competitor. Right. And he didn't get to the top of his profession by crying. <laughs> I see your point. Now, if this, if you're in the service of women, Daniel, mm. you said this girl can't believe you're with her. Mm. Right? Right. So are you in service to her? Just as you were in service to the recovering heroin addict? No. No, I don't believe so. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think it's a service. Mm. You said you didn't want to have sex, and then so, you fucked yeah. her, right? Yeah, you because got me she there. wanted you got me it. There. Oh yeah, I know. I see. I see. Are you in service to her? Yeah. I mean, yes, it would appear. I'm not saying 100%. I'm like, but is there that tendency or is that there? It, yeah. Well, I mean, it must be there, right? Mm. Why would I put myself in these situations? What's in it for you? What? Yeah. You're a hot guy. You're a status symbol. For women, you're a himbo, you're arm candy, right? I'm mm -hmm. not saying you're dumb, but I mean, you're a, in terms of like status for women, you're a high status guy. Physically, right? Right. Are you serving women? Are you serving their needs? No, I see. Well, I of see course you. you are. That's why yeah. you're at home still. You understand? Your mother needs you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It it She's anxious together. if you're not there. So don't worry her. Just give up your whole fucking life. Uh, yeah. You're in service to women. You're on the plantation, man. Full on. I see. I see. Yeah. That's, it's been a long time. And it's not your mother probably says she wants you around or she wants you to be there or she worries about you and so on, but it's not good for her. No, it's not. Right. No, I see that. I mean, I see. you know how we were talking about the time for fatherhood is past? Mm hmm It's true for motherhood too, bro. Yeah. The time for motherhood is past. <laughs>